Hi, my name is Mary Schumann. I am a realtor in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and every week I do videos about all things real estate and life in the Twin Cities. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell right next to it and you'll be notified every time I post a video. Also, I'd like to point out that I put a lot of free information and downloads in the description box below my video. If you're on a mobile device, just tap the title of the video and the description box will display. This week I'm doing a tour of Egan, Minnesota. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you information about housing prices, days on market, price per square foot, that kind of thing. But along the way, I'm going to show you a little bit about what Egan has to offer. So stay tuned. As always, I like to give you guys a little bit of an orientation as to where my neighborhood tours are in relationship to Minneapolis. And you can see that Egan is on the southeast side of the city. And this map gives you a little view of what Egan itself looks like. And I've indicated on here where the airport is in the top left corner, the Mall of America, Costco, and some area parks. And I love adding these visuals so that you can see your proximity to things that really might be important to your quality of life. And then this one, if you have kids, you'd be interested in what the public schools look like and how they're rated by great schools. So Egan really is more of a bedroom community, but this gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect as far as restaurants are concerned. I suspect most of these are actually in the mall. I could have picked a prettier example, but there are a lot of rental apartments in Egan. The other type of housing that I saw a lot of during my tour of Egan is townhomes and twin homes. So if you're more of an entry level buyer or want a low maintenance lifestyle, this could be an option for you. And then lastly, your typical suburban house. I would say most of these were built in the late 80s and during the 90s. They have decent sized yards, two and three car garages, nice homes. If you love books or children's programming, they have a nice library and it's open seven days a week. This wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't talk about the parks and Egan is situated in a really good place for parks. To the south they have Lebanon Hills which is an amazing park. The north is Fort Snelling and that's part of the national park system and then not too far away is an off-leash dog area. I have to talk about Lebanon Hills Park because it is really one of the best parks I've been to especially for hiking with kids. The trails are all different lengths and they're clearly marked. And if you are a horseback rider, you have access to trails there as well. It's wonderful. It's winter, but Egan's got you covered in the summer too. They have an outdoor park, water park called um, Cascade Bay that has mini golf and water slides and a lazy river. So something to keep you entertained in the summer. As far as shopping goes, there are the typical grocery stores in Minnesota, which are Lunds and Byerly's and Cubs Foods. And then you have access to all the regular shopping like Target and shopping centers like that. There's also a Costco and it's brand new and the parking situation there is awesome. And then it's ideally located if you're into clothing shopping and the Mall of America because you're just a few miles away. So there's lots to cover there. And now what you've all been waiting for, the data on Egan. So this slide shows you how the average home sale or median house sale compares to the Twin Cities as a whole. And you can see it's a little higher. It 
And in this one, you can see that price per square foot in Egan is just about the same as the Twin Cities as a whole. And that actually makes it a pretty affordable place to live in the Minneapolis area. And last but not least, Days on Market. And this really tells you how the demand is in Egan. And the Days on Market are very low in Egan. So pretty much when something goes up, it comes right back down. It's sold. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful if you were thinking about moving to Egan, Minnesota. If you have a question about buying or selling real estate or you're interested in seeing something else in the Minneapolis area and would like a video tour of it, please let me know. Contact information is in the description box below and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.